Welcome to hell. There it is! The frog derby is something special, I tell you. I've always been on the hunt to watch the best football fans. Over 20 countries with unique cultures and 500 football matches. But today I want to visit somewhere I've never been before. The capital city of Czech Republic as I will be attending the Prague Derby. The Slavia Ultras were named top 6 in the world and top 3 in Europe. But this is not like any other derby. This is for a place in the semi-final of the cup. Slavia have won it 7 times and Sparta have also won it 7 times. I will show you the city of Prague and have access all areas inside the stadium. And as our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. The Battle of Prague and the most successful clubs in the country. This is going to be special. Welcome to the beautiful city of Prague. We are splitting these days into two. Today we're going to be doing touristy activities as well as tomorrow. But before we go to the game tomorrow, we're going to be doing a Prague bingo and I've got to tick off every single objective before we attend the match. And what a better place to start than Prague Castle. And welcome to the first bingo point. It is the Prague Castle, of course. Look how beautiful the architecture is around here. And as you see behind me, that's the castle if you can't tell. Yeah, castle. And by the way, this whole surrounding area is absolutely huge. We even had to get a taxi here because the walk up here would have been monstrous. I'm going to mention that word a lot in this video, architecture, because this city is just beautiful, but that is what they're known for. I'm all about showing you the best views in the house. I mean, look at this. I've been in this country for two hours and I'm already in love with it. And one fact for you all, this is actually the largest castle complex in the world. I mean, I can understand why. Now they weren't lying. This complex is huge. I swear this doesn't end. Like, I'm being serious. <laughs> Stop it, I think we've got potential here for a view. Holy crap. Right, this ain't too bad, is it? No, it's not bad. This really ain't bad. It's not bad at all, to be honest. And that is one part of the bingo sheet complete. Prague Castle, we're moving on. And welcome to the next location, Charles Bridge. It looks fantastic here and it's really famous. And that to me is another bingo objective complete. Two out of eight, we're on fire. And you could tell it's a popular one here. Look how busy it is. It's quite nice to have these objectives to complete because it actually makes you look around the city. Look at the amount of stickers on here. Can you spot your football club on here? <laughs> I've come to realization that this is an absolute joke of a city. Up there is where the castle was, where we just were. It's a beautiful place. I've been mean, even here, look at that, come on. Uh, this is just taking the piss, isn't it? This place gets more of a joke and a joke as we go along. You've got the old town square in front of you, but on the bingo objective list, the astronomical clock. I am beginning to lose words on how beautiful this city is, the architecture, everything. I'm loving it. As you know, it's the day before the Prague Derby. We're now going to go to the stadium and watch the open training session. The ultras, the fans are going to create an atmosphere in preparation. Psychologically, we're really good for a place to get up for the game like tomorrow. The Fortuna Arena. This was where the Conference League final was last year, so Prague Derby tomorrow. I'm excited. It's my turn to visit inside the stadium. Have you seen this before? A drive through McDonald's at a stadium. What is all this about then? We got a sneak peek inside the stadium and through to the training pitches. The graffiti on the wall, Simpson style was class and watching training with the fans was a special touch. And that is us watching the training complete behind us. I think the plan is now to receive a shirt from the club. And I'm really excited for this by the way, because I do like their shirt. Oh wow. Number 10 as well. I'm, yes. the, pl I'm the playmaker. Yeah. That's so brilliant. I made you number 10? Yep. Yeah, because that's the playmaker. Slavia Prague's new signing, eh? This is brilliant. Come on, look yeah, at that. Happy? Thank you very much, I'm very happy. Yeah. Now we're definitely ready for the game tomorrow. <laughs> My first time inside this stadium, and it looks fantastic. The atmosphere behind that goal, the TIFO, everything. There's gonna be a banner going all across here, and it's gonna be good. And to end the day, we had some traditional food which went down a tree. Welcome to day two, and the most important day is the Prague Derby. But we thought we'd start the day ticking off another bingo objective. Of course, we're at a cemetery right now. Josef Biku, one of the biggest footballers in the 20th century. 
He has scored 427 goals in 221 games in his 11-year playing career at Slavia Prague, so he's definitely a legend. <laughs> The cemetery complete. We paid our respects ahead of this big game today. Also, a massive player for the club, so it's really good to see that before the game today. So, we're about to go inside a pub to drink a bit because we need to do it for the bingo objective. But it's quite funny, this is not like an ordinary pub. Six Dalmatian students actually went to Prague, went and visited the Prague Derby, went inside this pub, and after watching the Prague Derby, they actually founded Hydric Split in Croatia. It's a mental story, really crazy, but nevertheless, we're going to go inside and have a pint. This is also the oldest and most famous brewery in Prague. This is incredible. We've also been recommended a dark beer. This is what they recommended, so we're going to have it. Oh, it's definitely different to what I uh, used to have. Let's put it that way. It's good though. But we all know what that means. The bingo objectives are complete. Which means we can now officially go to the game. Now that everything's done, it's now time for Derby Day. And we have made it to the Fortuna Arena for the Prague Derby. Two hours till kickoff, and we're going to get our credentials as we've completed all the bingo tasks. We can actually go inside the stadium. But go on and rate this stadium out of 10. It's got character at the back, but at the front, it's a bit modern. And as we know, it's got McDonald's. I'll tell you what, I think I found the right food store to go to. That fuck smash burgers. It sounds about right. 15 pounds, so it's like two pounds for, for the Korean fans. Look at that. Amazing. Look at that, we've done all the objectives in the centre, we can go inside the stadium now. Here we are, we're entering, finally entering the stadium. Look what you greeted to here. Look at this. Like this, like this a lot. We are exactly one hour until kickoff, and we're going to be looking out onto the pitch. I know we were here yesterday. Look at this, like it, like it. This is an hour until kickoff, ultras are already in, and we've got a pass where we can literally go anywhere. Look at this. Oh, I can literally just like run on if I, I won't do it. Okay, maybe I won't run on. I won't do that. Look at this. What a gaff. The Conference League final being here as well. And we're just casually along here. Like it. I like it a lot. This is what the bench looks like as well. Like it. And what a stadium to actually have this access in as well. Oh my days. So I've been given a bib and I can go pitch side all around here or there. Away ends here, the Sparta fans. But just look how full the Slavia fans old section is. It's insane. And as far as stadiums goes, this ain't too bad, is it? Slavia players are just waving a flag around. Look at that, that's passion. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I've got a bib on. It took me a while to put it on because I just can't do bibs. Even in school, we're kidding. Look at this from the Slavia fans. In the warm up, everyone just jumping up and down. Love it. Yeah, you can notice the passion already, you can tell that. I think you've got to give them credit, but the atmosphere being created before the game now. You can hear it from the other end so clearly, so loudly. The older section in there, I can see what are the top six in the world. And now we've got all the scarves out, literally the whole stadium. Everyone's got their scarves out. Look at this. It's just pure red and white in this stadium. I like this. I like the look of this. Sparta Pro players just here. The access we have here, ladies and gentlemen. The thing is, this is like before the game and all. In England, you're just being a pub. You're just being a pub in England. Here you go, the choreography's going up already. The whole two stands. Oh, this is going to be class. In fact, it's the whole two stands as well. Connects as well. Oh, come on. What's that, demon? Flip it, innit? Look at this. Oh, come on. The creativity here is just unmatched. Like, no one in England will be asked to make this do something for the club like this. No one will be asked to do it. Our fitness has done phenomenally well here. I've just translated what this means. It says, welcome to hell. And you've got the demon here. Now that is creative and I like that. Imagine walking like that as an away fan to this. Come on, that is sick, that is sick. Welcome to hell. I'm getting a little bit giddy. If this doesn't scare you, then you're a little bit weird. Like imagine seeing that in your dream. You'd be terrified. And here come the players. They are out, the Prague Derby, the one we've been waiting for. We've seen the city. We've seen everything evolve in this club and the history of it. Now it's time for the football, the 90 minutes, potential extra time for this cup quarter final. This is such a special atmosphere. All the traditions they have, even before the game with the fan zones and everything, it's just like the little things they put together to create such a great community. And we are underway here in the Prague Derby quarter final. Now this one is huge. Yeah, again, the fans jumping around. Ah. Oh. It's the two stands and all. The passion and the noise in the stadium generated. Yeah. Momentum's building now for Slavia. Oh, for us gonna hit me for a minute. Sparta fans, to be fair. Waving their scarves around out there. Could this be the moment? 
Could it be his through? There is the goal for Slavia. That is the moment they've been waiting for. Through a mistake, down the left, pass inwards, and there it goes. 1 0 to Slavia Prague. That is incredible. What a finish. Slavia have got the upper hand in the Prague derby. Insane, insane. The 39th minute and it's 1-0 to Slavia. Foul going on here, yellow card given, but look at the ultra end here. Black smoke bombs are going off. Black smoke bombs are going off here behind the goal. Well, look at that. I knew it wasn't just going to be the banner. It was definitely not just going to be a banner. There had to be more and that is what you can see. Flipping it. Tyra off here. Oh my days! Look at this. Oh, I get giddy over this. Look at that. Now that is a proper pyro show, I'll tell you that now. Okay, that looks sick. That looks cool. This looks sick, you know. I love a pyro, and you just find it at European derbies. You knew something like this was bound to happen. Like that, look at it. It looks like a bonfire behind the goal. Sparta from a free kick. Oh, what, what a save! I thought I was going to hit the back of the net. And that is half time here. One nil Slavia Prague in a break. This has been good. The atmosphere, the passion, everything. The shows, the, the banner before the game. Really good and I'm enjoying this. And we are back underway here. What about here? So let's shoot an opportunity. Oh! oh! There it is! The second is here. That is insane. They've started the second off so well, so clinical. And Slavia Prague are tuning up in the Prague Derby. Scarves are being waved around. The Prague Derby is something special, I tell you. Sparta are through, and it's... What? Sparta fans in the home end? This game is far from over, I'll tell you that now. As you can see, something has definitely been set up in this stand. Look at the banner, the text at the bottom, and what's in the middle. This could be very interesting. I don't know what they got lined up. Here we go. Oi, oi, I see exactly what they're doing there. That is good, that. I feel like I'm being stared at right now, like, genuinely. I feel like I'm being stared down. Oh, yes. Look at that. Just, I've got no words at this point. The creativity and everything which goes into it. During the game, different ones as well. It looks so cool. Incredible creativity and everything. You've got to really respect it. Look at that, and they're waiting as well. Now they finally do something. They're doing something now, the, the Sparta fans. It's about time the away fans did something. Oh, it's all going off. The, the tackles are being flying left, right and centre now. It just continues to be an absolute spectacle behind the goal. Now the scarf's out. I feel like I'm missing a scarf. I feel like I should have one. Oh. oh. There's the equaliser. Blimey. From 2-0. Down to 2-2. Two, two. So many Spa fans in this end, you know, so many. Scarfs down here. It's a shame. 2-0 Slavia has now brought it back to 2-2. Two, two. The 88th minute. I don't think there's going to be another chance to potentially go and win the game. I don't think that's going to happen. So we might be looking at extra time and penalties. There is four minutes added on here. This game has had absolutely everything. And that is full time. We're going to extra time. For the quarter final, the Prague Derby, 2-2. Two, two. They were 2-0 up. And we are back on the way for extra time. Wait, well, how's that not in? How's it not a goal there? And that is half time of the first half in extra time. Yeah, not really much in that one, to be honest. So moving on to second. Oh no. Oh no. There's going to be a VAR check for a penalty to Sparta Prague. <laughs> Refs over here checking it, potential hand ball. Every time they go to the monitor, you know what happens. Oh, it's not good. I don't think it's good. And pen. Penalty Sparta Prague. This is not what we were expecting here. Obviously, it's down the other end, so I couldn't even see what happened, but it's handball, I guess. Here we go then. Steps up. Oh. There it is. The goals to Sparta Prague. The fact they've turned it around from being 2 0 down to now 3 2 up. Fair play. I mean, they've got character in that team and they've got quality. There is four minutes added on here in extra time. But I must say, what a game it's been. Five goals, banners galore. Like, this has been everything. Oh, free kick. Oh, this could be big. I mean, this is how close we're talking here. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. 
That's a foul. That should be a second yellow. How is that not a second yellow? He is off. He is off. It's a second yellow. I was going to say, if I wasn't given it a second yellow, but not, football's done. And that is full time. Sparta Prague over in the semi finals. That was one heck of a game, though, I must say. <laughs> Look, the Slavia fans always, always back the club. We're through defeat, through a win, through a draw, they always back him at full time. You've really got to respect that because after a derby loss in England, you're, you're off, you're booing, you're doing everything. Slavia Prague, you have my respect completely. And that has been the Prague derby. We've seen five goals, extra time, banners, pyros, absolutely everything. The banner at the beginning said, welcome to hell, and it felt like it. This European derby is absolutely fantastic. One of the favourites I've ever attended. Access I've had as well. Absolutely phenomenal. It's a shame Slavia did win. Fair play to the Sparta Prague fans. They've been absolutely incredible. Everyone's been incredible here, to be honest. What a city. But I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed these videos and you want more, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.